video, I want to walk you through three main ways to organize your literature. And to get started, I want to let you know that organizing your literature is not about being able to read a lot or being able to figure out when to read a lot. It's more about making your literature searchable for the future so that when future you needs that information, you can easily know where to find it and have it ready to use in the way that you want. So if you're someone who's stuck trying to read tons and tons of research papers, I really suggest downloading my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's going to help you to figure out what papers you really need to be reading and actually start moving your research forward. But in this video, I want to walk you through three main tools that I use to be able to organize my own literature. And the number one tool is Notion. If you haven't seen it, I will link a video both above and in the description below that walks you through my Notion organization template. And so this is a template you can get if you want, just check out the video below. But basically in Notion, I can organize the different papers I'm reading, I can assign those papers to new research papers, and I can also write descriptions and synopsis of those papers. And what's most important about this is there are certain papers that I know give me very specific types of information. But if I just have them in a general search engine, it might not pull up the papers I'm thinking of when I want to search specific things. So I use Notion as more of my searchable search engine, where when I'm inputting a paper into Notion, I can just type out something that I know I would search later. So that if there's a specific paper that is like basically the background of calculating CCSs, I know that I can just go into my Notion and search background for CCSs and that's going to pop up and that's going to allow me to make my literature and papers much more searchable and much more available. So definitely check out uh, that video below. If you use Notion or are interested in it, I show you exactly um, how I use it to do that literature organization. The second major tool that I use is ResearchRabbit. And ResearchRabbit is an awesome tool with network analysis and basically allows you to research a couple papers in your field and through network analysis allows you to easily find new papers that are relevant to your field. And it can see, you can start to see like where different papers branch off, where themes start to emerge. It's super helpful if you're like considering writing a literature review or anything like that. So if you are interested in Research Rabbit at all, check out my video. It'll be linked both above and below. It's on a total beginner's guide to Research Rabbit. It is completely free for researchers with an institutional email. So this is something that I would definitely, and so is Notion as well. Both of these, all of the ones I'm going to talk to, to you about today are completely free um, to use. And so I would definitely check that out and search, you know, a couple of your papers in there. And it's definitely worth using. Um, I love using it. I really wish it was a tool that I had when I was actually in grad school. The third tool I really recommend that you get is Zotero. And so Zotero is also a free reference manager. I used to be a big proponent of Mendeley, um, but since then they've kind of stop supporting it as much and Zotero has risen up as a much better alternative. And so I have a whole series I will link above if you're interested in how to use Zotero. But Zotero has a connector within Google Chrome so you can easily download metadata for multiple papers at once. You can also input your PDF so they're all contained within one place. In this, you can also do a lot of tagging. And so that's something that I like is to match my Notion tags with my Zotero tags so that I can easily find the paper that I'm looking for. And then with all of that together, you can also add in notes and make it searchable. And then what's nice is once you have everything in Zotero, especially if you're using Notion as well, and you know that these specific papers in Notion are going to be in this research paper, you can easily find and cite it with the Zotero plugin as well. So overall, the three main tools I use is Notion to organize and make my different research papers searchable. I use ResearchRabbit to find new research papers really easily and um, 
be able to find things that I might not have ever thought to search of, and really just to keep updated with where the field's going, just by reading the titles and not even always downloading it and getting it into my Zotero and my Notion. And then finally, I use Zotero to actually manage the metadata and to be able to cite easily papers within my actual research papers or proposals or anything I'm doing like that. Links to all of these things and to the tutorials I have on these softwares will be in the description below if you're interested in using them. I suggest trying all of them out. They're free to use. See if they jive with you. See if you can figure them out well. And then um, you can move forward from there. And if you're still stuck on working on your research project or just reading a ton of research papers, I highly suggest downloading my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's going to be able to help you move forward, really be able to get a solid grasp on where you are in your research projects and how to move those research projects forward. Again, that's a free guide that's going to be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.